The WWE Royal Rumble, one of the greatest times of the year where unpredictability runs wild and anything can happen. Except for the past couple years where we kind of knew what was going to happen. This year we finally have a Rumble. That's absolutely insane, but are fans getting their hopes up and are they going to wreck it for themselves? These are the top five things fans did in the past that got their hopes up ultimately to be crushed. And we're going to break it down. Coming in at number five. It hasn't even happened this year and it's made my list is number five. The Royal Rumble this year is unpredictable. WWE can go a lot of different routes. But the one thing fans have already made clear that if it doesn't happen, the Royal Rumble is going to be the worst thing ever. And that is 10, 10, 10, Ty Dillinger. Ty Dillinger hasn't even debuted in the WWE yet. And if he does not come out at number 10, the fans are going to boo. Why would he come out at number 10? Because that's his gimmick is 10, so you get your hopes up? I don't know about that. I love Ty Dillinger, and yes, Ty Dillinger at number 10 would be absolutely fantastic. Somebody else coming out at number 10 to get heat? Also great. But the fans that are, have their hopes set on Ty Dillinger at number 10 who will ultimately boo and wreck what's ever going on in the ring at the time and not appreciate it are likely setting themselves up for a huge letdown. If you hold that much power on Ty Dillinger being number 10, that may be a problem. Coming in at number four, it's kind of a big one. Roman Reigns' victory two years ago. In the 2015 Royal Rumble, it was evident that Roman Reigns was going to win. And the fact is, the fans didn't mess this up, WWE did. Even though Roman Reigns was the golden boy and set to face at WrestleMania for the title, they made one big mistake. It sucked. Yeah. Even if Roman Reigns was set to always win the Royal Rumble, which turned out to be not a bad thing, and Roman Reigns would go on, and he still has great birch sales today and does good for the company, but it sucked. I can't think of a worse way to end a Royal Rumble than two big guys who were at the heels of the authority who had their, uh, their grasp, this is a choke slam, who had their grasp into him for the Royal Rumble. Big Show and Kane were to eliminate so many men in the Rumble, and then ultimately, right as they have Roman Reigns about to be eliminated, they would try to turn on each other, and then Roman would just dump them both over the top and made it the worst Rumble ever. I can't justify that, but Roman Reigns winning wasn't the problem. The crappy book he was. So I can't blame this one on the fans. I gotta blame it on WWE Creative. I mean, if you're gonna give us Roman, at least make it so I'm not roaming around being bored. <laughs> I mean, when it rains, it pours. Anybody? Anyway, coming in at number three. It's kind of a big one. Everybody expects Royal Rumble to have a huge debut. This year is Kenny Omega. Fans are getting their hopes up that Kenny Omega will be in the Royal Rumble. Now, last year's speculation with AJ Styles gives it good reason to doubt whether or not Kenny Omega is telling the truth. Kenny Omega came out and said straight up, I'm not going to be in the Rumble. Fans that hold that to what he's saying, and ah, he's not going to be in the Rumble. Oh my God, he's in the Rumble. That'll be a great moment. But right now, if you're listening to Kenny Omega's statements and you're pumping yourself up for Kenny Omega being in the Royal Rumble, and then he doesn't show up, you're just letting yourself down. In the age of kayfabe, we don't know what's real. Did they put out a statement saying yes, no? Did they deny it? <sighs> That's not for us to decide. Let's sit back and wait. And if Omega's in the Rumble, oh my God, I'm going to be a fan, girl. But if he's not, he said he wasn't. I mean, unless he's a liar. Coming in at number two. One thing I think a lot of people got upset about. 40 men. Yes, 40 men. Everybody thought it was going to be a great Royal Rumble, which ultimately led to Alberto Del Rio. I'm seeing a lot of questions of should the WWE ever go back to a 40-man Royal Rumble, and I think the honest answer is no. They should never go back to a 40-man Royal Rumble because having a Royal Rumble just to include in as many people as possible doesn't really make sense. This year's Royal Rumble, the 2017 Royal Rumble, has at least five people on the top of my head that would make sense to win. And for the first time in many years, WWE is very unpredictable. Going the predictable route might be the worst thing WWE could do. And let's be honest, going the predictable route has worked in the past. But this year, the impossible, or the impossible, this very well may happen. And at number one is Daniel Bryan. Yes, Daniel Bryan at number 30. WWE constantly said during the whole build that Daniel Bryan would not be in the Royal Rumble. He himself stated repeatedly that he would not be in the Rumble. Although speculation from those dirt sheets said that Bryan would in fact be a surprise entrant. Raising the hopes of millions really expecting Daniel Bryan to be in the Royal Rumble. Although constantly, WWE officials said he's not going to be in the Royal Rumble, and it didn't even make sense for Bryan to be in the Royal Rumble. Ultimately, fans booed, and Rey Mysterio took the heat. 
But is it justified? If WWE has never told you that Brian was going to be in the Rumble and you got your hopes up based on some internet rumors, is WWE the bad guy or you wanting Daniel Bryan the issue? Listen, I love Daniel Bryan as much as the next guy. I think he's one of the best superstars, if not the best superstar ever to be in the WWE. That's kind of pushing it. Listen, I love Daniel Bryan and I think Daniel Bryan is an absolutely fantastic talent. But how many times can you be told he's not going to be in the Rumble? And then when he's not in the Rumble, how dare they not put him in the Royal Rumble? So like Ty Dillinger this year, there is nothing that says Daniel Bryan has to be in the Rumble, and it just randomly boo and cost Ray Mysterio, which I'll admit. Ray at number 30, you could have had anybody, and I feel bad for Ray. But again, that's where the fans felt like they controlled everything. Bryan at number 30 was a lock. It absolutely should be Daniel Bryan. It makes sense. But then when it doesn't work, WWE never makes any sense. But things heading into the Royal Rumble, if you're getting your hopes about, just know, go into low expectations. And when a guy like AJ Styles shows up, you can be like, oh my god, fangirl reaction. That'll be me if Kenny Omega shows up, I'll be honest. Oh, Kenny Omega. So excited. I'm gonna cry. Kenny shows up. But if he doesn't show up, motherfucker said he wasn't gonna show up.